Um, I'm not going to go over the basics very much. I do have a basics video on my channel and I'll put the link um, down below. And so to start this, you do a slip stitch and I'll just do it one time kind of slow and that'll be it. If you need help with that, then just go back to that other video. So hold your tail up, wrap it around, cross it over, reach under that, grab it, pull your fingers through and pull it through. So it's a knot, slip, knot. There it is, that's how you start everything. Um, the tail doesn't necessarily have to be that long, but um, I, I like them long because then you can just weave it in and not really worry about it. Um, so you put your loop on your hook and to get started, the pattern says 66 chains. So yarn over from the back and pull through. And you're going to do that 66 times. And the reason it's 66 is because um, eventually when you get to the end, you're going to do half double crochets. And so that makes you skip a stitch. So really you're going to have 65 um, because of that skipped one at the beginning. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I won't make you watch me do all of them, but just to give you an idea, you can see the stitches on this. They're like the little circles. And so if you lose track, which I do a lot, um, I just zone out and I'm, I'm watching TV or doing something else. And so just go back and count them. You can see them. So there's 10 there and I will catch back up with you in just a second when I'm done with the 66. All right, you should have your 66 at this point. So you've got the tail down here, which is where you started, and then just count it all the way to 66. So you're at the end, you still have your loop on your hook. And if you're a beginner, your chains are going to be um, not consistent. One's gonna be really small, and one's gonna be really big. That is something that just comes with time. So don't get discouraged by that. Don't get freaked out, it will be okay. So you're at the end of your 66. Um, the loop that is right here, right next to um, what is actually on your hook, this one right here is the very first chain. So you're going to, the pattern says to skip your first chain because a half double crochet, a single crochet is um, really short, a half double is a little bit taller and an actual double is even taller than that. So even with the height difference um, for a half double, you have to skip a chain. So it doesn't just get like smushed into an area. So just skip that first chain. And with a half double, you yarn over, you poke it through that second stitch you pull it from the back and you pull it up. That's the way I teach people. You hook it from the back and you pull it up through that loop. So now you have one, two, three loops on your hook. One, two, three. Um, and so to do a half double means that you yarn over again and you pull it through all three. If it was a, um, a full double, you would yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But with a half, the way it is a half is that you yarn over and you pull through all three. So there's the first one. So yarn over, poke it through the stitch, pull it up. You have one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through three. So yarn over, poke it through that stitch, grab the yarn from behind, pull it up. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull through three. So as you can see, if you are not super comfortable with um, what your stitches are and you haven't practiced them beforehand and you're jumping into straight into this project and you didn't bother to watch the first one because you thought, oh, I'll catch on, you might be a little bit lost right now and it's hard to look at your hook and what you're working on and still be able to do what you're doing. So I know it's super exciting and all you want to do is have a finished product and you want to get done with it. but please go back to that first video because I don't want you to get discouraged. People get really discouraged really quickly and really easily with crochet. Um, and all it is is you just have to get the basics down pat first. And, um, and then the rest will just come with time. So um, it doesn't take too awful long to get to the end, but I will probably just finish this and catch back up with you in just a minute. Um, I won't make you watch. But if you're, if you're behind and you're not you're not anywhere um, near going to be finished with this row by the time I come back, then just pause it. Don't get stressed out. That's the beauty of YouTube. You can just pause it, rewind it, look back, open another window and pull up the other stitches video so you can rewatch it over and over again if you need to um, and you will be fine. 
And another thing I will say, I really, really like this yarn. I've made this cowl in um, several colors. The only thing that I, and it's not really a negative thing, I know that it just is going to be a little bit hard for beginners, is that it tends to separate. And so um, don't see how like the little threads kind of separate. So don't get stressed out with it. If you get a little bit tangled up and you can see that like a little piece of another piece is stuck on your hook, either just kind of try to pull it through um, and then just move on to the next stitch or just pull your hook out and be like, what the heck, and just pull it and get back to this previous one. So I'll catch back up with you in just a second. All right, so I'm at the end of this row and I stopped purposefully, like I didn't wanna finish it without showing you how to know what is the very end. So you're out here and there's the knot right here and there's the tail. So I have, I can see that I have one more right here, if you can see that. And then the very last one always gets kinda smushed and sometimes people miss it and then it makes you short one. So always just kind of keep an eye out for that last stitch. You don't want to miss it because it will throw everything off. And it won't be as big of a deal for this um, scarf because there isn't um, a whole lot of changes. You're not gonna do three of this, five of that, three of this, which all adds up mathematically. Like that is not the problem with this scarf, but if you're not in the habit of doing it when you do another project and you're reading the pattern, if you're not catching that last one, um, it's going to make a big difference and your pattern will not work out. So you did your last one right here on the very end. Right here at the bottom is that knot and this is the last half double. So what you do, what the pattern says is you're going to um, chain one and then you're going to turn your work, which literally just means to put all of it back over here. And just turn it right there on your hook so that you can again work from this side to this side. Um, it's how it works. And so the pattern says to half double crochet into the back loop only, B-L-O. And so what you know a back loop is, is you take your work and eventually you won't have to look at it like this, but when you get started, um, try to do it this way. If you turn your work up like this, you can see all of these little like braids. They kind of look what the look like what the chains looked like in the very beginning. They're just like this on the top. And so this is your front loop and right here would be your back loop. And so you're going to do your half double crochet into this back loop. And what that does is it gives it the ridges look. And so right here is where your hook is, right on the very end. This first little bump right there is your first front loop. So that's your first stitch. Don't skip your first stitch this time. Um, so look up here and you can see your front loop and your back loop back here. So half double crochet into your back loop. It's just like the normal half double that we just did. It just is um, into that back loop. And see my yarn, even my yarn has gotten all tangled up, it splits a little bit, but it's so soft. And so you go into your next one. So half double crochet into the back loop only of all of these stitches all the way to the end. What I like about this project is you just keep going. You just work all the way to the end. So you yarn over, stick it into the back loop, grab your yarn in the back, pull it up. One, two, three on your hook, yarn over and pull it through all three. And so that is literally all that you do. You'll go all the way to the end, all the way down here. And then you'll get to the end. You'll do right here on the very end. Don't miss it. Your last stitch is out here on the end. All right, so we're at the end. And I wasn't going to show it because I thought maybe I could explain it well. But to show it was probably going to be the better way to go. Um, the hardest part about going, um, doing crochet that's from side to side to side to side instead of like in a round is knowing what the end is because if you don't get the end stitch just right and you cut one of them off or you add one by accident then your work is going to go in and out in and out in and out instead of in a straight line and it's going to be really frustrating and you're going to have to pull it out um, and so that is just it just takes practice it just takes time I really struggled with that when I first started so um, to try to show you we have one more right here that I'm going to do a half double in the back stitch. And you can kind of tell, look, when you look at this, you can see like 
hey, there might be something else there. And there is. <laughs> it looks a little different than everything else. It kind of curls out to the edge. So um, we're going to go ahead and grab one more. And the best foolproof way when you're, when you're just starting and you don't really know what it should look like is to go back and count your stitches and count 65 stitches. They're the little columns. And so just count them. It'll make you feel better and you won't be frustrated and have to pull it out. So we're at the very end. We do exactly what we did last time. You chain one um, and turn your work. And you just keep going. You half double crochet into the first stitch, the back loop of the first stitch. And you just keep going till this end. And what you end up with is this little cute and I'll come back to you in just a second um, with it finished. I'm going to finish it out. But the way that you can count your rows, because your pattern is going to say 17 rows. Um, and that's also what I, why I like doing the back loop stitches is because it does give you the variation. Um, one row is going to stick out. One row is going to be behind. One row is going to stick out. And one row is going to be behind. So just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The start of 16. So I'm going to finish 16 and then do the 17th. And I'll come back to you and show you how to finish it out. 